Okay, for the NAS 4 and NAS 6 pump, when the power is connected from the PV panel, the plus and the minus, normally you put a fuse between it for protecting the unit. The uh, pump is wired with uh, U, V and W. You have to see that they are in the right position, else the pump is going to do backwards and it's not going to pump. So you have to change maybe one or the U or the V wire. Now do you have the special bridge in here. This is normally for protecting the pump for never running dry. If this one is not on there, then the unit won't work at all for protection. Just if we start up the unit, just it's in off position, the battery light should be burning only. Once we turn on the unit, it will see that the wire is connected to the well and the well has water. Now when the well has water, it will wait for a few seconds before the pump starts up and then the power and the unit is running. If an other sensor was connected when the well was full, and that is on the TC and TH, automatically this light will start and the pump will stop again. Certain things you have to know is, if this wire is not connected or interrupted, it will take 30 minutes to start up the pump again. Because if we take that one off, only the battery light should be working. Now, I can connect that wire again, but the pump is not going to start. The light is going to go on, but the pump is not going to start. And it waits 30 minutes to start up. There's one way that you can do it faster for saying, okay, I have my, my wire in there. It's just turning the unit back off and turning the unit back on. This will see the wall light is going on. You will have to wait a few seconds on the timer to kick in and the pump starts running again. Alright, that's all.